What's up guys? Ashley here with Pie Reptiles and I wanted to show y'all how I set up a little baby boa bin. Um, as a lot of you know, I had a little litter of baby Guyana boas yesterday and I have them all set up in this little bin. Now, hopefully they haven't all buried. I like to give the baby boa stuff to bury in. Um, it keeps the humidity up with the sphagnum moss here. You can set them up on wet paper. Um, but whatever you do end up using, you want it to be wet because they are born with their little yolk sacs and stuff like that. Um, so you don't want them to get stuck to anything. So here's my little babies. I know, I know. They are gorgeous. Let me turn on the light here so that I can... There we go. Look at these little babies. As you can see, they're already starting. I just put this moss in here. And they're already starting to try to bury under the moss. I have the heat probe right down here in the bottom to keep them nice and perfect temperature and everything. But I like the sphagnum moss because it's wet. It gives them places to hide. You don't like little babies being scared and stressed out and everything. I do keep my babies together until after their first sheds and then I'll separate them out. Um, always make sure they got a nice little bowl of water. But I, like I said, I like the sphagnum moss, gives them places to hide, keeps the humidity up for them, especially with these little BCC, you want them to have great humidity. Um, let's see if I can poke in here and show y'all a couple of little babies real quick. These things are just insane. I cannot wait to see them after they shed. This is y'all's official sneak peek at all these little babies. And of course, uh, Alex said he wants to get a, uh, don't you bite me. Alex said he wants to get awesome pictures of them once they shed out and everything. But these little stripes are just crazy. I love them. Oh, you can see a little baby head. I'm not going to disturb him because he's nice and buried down there. Um, I also wanted to show y'all one. He's not dead. <laughs> he's not. But this little guy has a disability. He has a skin fusion here, which I'm hoping is just a skin fusion. Um, we're going to take him to the vet this coming week and see if it's possible for us to uh, have this surgically repaired. His spine itself feels smooth. Um, like when I feel down here and everything, I don't know if it's actually kinked in the spine or not, but let me see if I can get in here. As y'all can see, that's a... It's fused right there. And if it is possible for us to just have that skin removed or clipped um, or surgically repaired and him be able to actually live a potential fulfilling life, I would rather him have that chance than have to put him down. Because I mean, otherwise he is healthy. He absorbed all his yolk. I mean, he's not disabled in any other way. And he's freaking gorgeous. So hopefully we'll be getting some good news on this guy and we'll be able to have that little skin fusion clipped, sewn up and repaired and everything. And uh, this little guy will be able to be an awesome little pet. I don't know if I'll ever let him go as a pet or if I'll just keep him because he's freaking cute and he's got a gorgeous stripe and I just love him. But uh, these little guys are all crawling around chilling. I love them. I love this one's tail. This one's just incredible. Doing? What do y'all think you're doing? Get your butts back in there. Get your little butts back in there. But I just wanted to show y'all my little boa setup. Um, what I do for babies to help them feel more secure, to make sure that their humidity is wonderful. And uh, yeah, this is a good little setup for anybody that has any baby boas. Um, like I said, you can use wet newspaper and stuff like that. But the sphagnum moss allows them to be able to bury and feel more secure without adding anything else to the enclosure. And it smells good. <laughs> but all right, guys, just want to give y'all a sneak peek of these little dudes still in their little brand new baby skins. But I will be updating more as they shed out. And I will be updating on this guy as soon as we get word um, if that's just going to be an easy fix or not because I don't want to let him go if I don't have to. So, all right, guys, we will see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.